Hey everybody, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is fraction and whole number multiplication. So this is uh, lesson 7-3 in our textbook. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com and then this is a fifth grade class so you go over to your fifth grade link that's at the top. And if you can uh, or if you can't, uh, would you guys click like and if you don't like it, click don't like. But uh, it just helps encourage me to make these videos. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Here's our common core strand for our teachers. And then our question is, how can we find the product of a fraction and a whole number without using a model? So we'll start off using a model, and then we'll start using some other methods without using a model. So that's what this is about. So, so here, Cleet has five one-gallon containers of different colored water. For an experiment, he will use three-eighths gallon of each container of water to create a new color. How much liquid uh, will be in this mixture? Okay, so let's answer a couple of questions here. So how much liquid is in each container? Well, right up here it says we have five one-gallon containers. So there's one gallon in each container. So will Cleet use all the liquid in each container? Well, no, he's going to use uh, three-eighths of each container for his mixture. So in this lesson, we're going to multiply a fraction by a whole number. So uh, here's a model to show this, and then we'll show how to do it without a model right here. So uh, we're going to uh, shade the model to show five groups of three-eighths. Well, here's one group of three-eighths right here. This is three shaded out of the eight right here. So we're going to multiply that times five. So here's five of those models right here. Okay, so we'll, we'll shade um, uh, three-eighths of each one of those. There we go. And then next, we'll rearrange all the shaded pieces to fill as many holes as possible. So we're going to fill them in these two uh, whole eights right here. So this is eight and this is eight. So uh, we're going to fill. So we'll do it one at a time. Let's put these three in first. So here we go. There's three right there. Then we'll put the next group of three in. So that's this one right here. We'll put the next group of three in. So it's going to be these two and it's going to start right right here and fill up that one right there okay and then we'll put the next group of three in and then the next group of three in so it looks like right here this is one hole and this is seven of the eight so one and seven eighths up here uh, three plus three is six plus three is nine plus three is uh, twelve three more is fifteen so up here this represents fifteen eighths down here this is one and seven eighths right there okay and those guys are equivalent right there fifteen eighths is the same as one and seven eighths so here what we're going to do is we're going to record this um, uh, uh, with the models that we showed over here. So write an expression that uh, to represent this problem. Well, this was, um, uh, we think we needed five groups of three eight size pieces. So that's going to be five times three eights right there, okay? So we're going to multiply the number of eight size pieces, which was three of them, uh, times each hole. Well, there was five one-gallon containers. So we're going to put here five times three, uh, and it's in terms of 8, so 5 times 3 is going to give us 15 8 right there. So what we do is we multiply this whole number times how many 8 size pieces. There are 3 8 size pieces, so we multiply the 5 times the numerator. gives us 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 uh, 8 uh, simplifies to... Uh, write this answer as a mixed number. 15 eighths is 8 eighths plus 7 eighths, and then 8 eighths is 1. Here's the 1 whole right here. And then so plus the 7 eighths. So here's 1 and 7 eighths, or 1 and 7 eighths right there. Okay? We're going to use that trick. So, so there are uh, 1 and 7 eighths colors of water, um, uh, gallons of water of colored water, sorry, in Cleet's mixture right there. So that's how much he has all together right there. Okay, so explain uh, uh, how we can find how much liquid Cleet has left over that he didn't use. Well, we could use the, let me get rid of this little thing, we can use the top parts of the model uh, to show how much he didn't use. So if he used 3 eighths to pour in, then he has 5 eighths left in each model. So 5 eighths plus 5 eighths plus 5 eighths plus 5 eighths plus 5 eighths is 25 eighths. And 25 eighths breaks down to uh, 8 eighths plus 8 eighths plus 8 eighths. There's 24 eighths, so plus one more eighth. So here's a 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 and 1 eighth. Okay, so 8 goes into 25 three times with one left over. So it's 3 and 1 eighth right there. So that's how much uh, that he didn't use on there. All right, let's try another one here. So we'll multiply a whole number by a fraction. Leslie bought a four pound bag of apples to make some apple pie. She uses two thirds of the bag. So how many pounds of apples were used? Okay, so 
we're going to model this and, and uh, shade the model, and then we'll record this just like last time. We'll shade the model to show two thirds of four. Okay, so we can cut each pound. So here's our pounds over here. These are one pound each right here. Cut each pound into uh, into uh, thirds to show two of them being used, two thirds of them being used. Okay, so here we go. We're cutting them into thirds, and then we'll shade two of the three on each one. So there's two of the three in each one. So two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds right there. All right, so we're going to rearrange uh, the shaded pieces to fill in as many holes as possible right here. So if I if I take this over here and then take this guy and put it in here and we're going to see how many holes we're going to shade right here. So I forgot what I did on the next slide, but uh, or where I put them. So there's one hole right there. And then we'll keep doing this. We'll shade, uh, we'll bring this one over. We'll bring this one over. Okay, there's two. And so this one's going to make two. And then so we're going to have these two thirds left over right here. So there's two and two thirds right there. Okay, so, um, uh, so two and two thirds pounds of apples were used in Leslie's delicious pie right there. Okay. All right, so write an expression to represent, whoops, sorry, that was me kicking my door here, uh, two-thirds of four. Okay, well, that's just as two-thirds times four. Remember, of means multiply. So here we are redoing this without the model right here. So uh, multiply four by the number of third size pieces. So it's, there's two third size pieces. So we're going to multiply four times two and then write that answer as the total number of third size pieces. So it's going to be um, uh, four times two thirds. All right, so four times two thirds, and then so four times two is eight, so we have eight thirds right there. Okay, so now we'll write that as a mixed number right there. Well, eight thirds is three thirds plus three thirds plus two thirds, or you can think of this, three goes into eight two times. Here's our two, one, two, and there's two left over. Eight goes into eight, uh, or three goes into eight two times with two left over, so two and two thirds. Here it is, two, one, plus one is two, and that's two thirds right there, okay? All right, uh, what else do we have here? So uh, we would have used the same amount of apples if we had four groups of two thirds of a pound, or would we have uh, use the same amount of apples. Well, yes, by having four groups of two-thirds gives four times two-thirds. And then from a uh, prior lesson, the commutative property of multiplication, whoops, this says addition. This should be multiplication right here. Let me fix that right there. Whoops, come on now. Let me. But this should be multiplication right here. Uh, I'll just abbreviate. The commutative property of multiplication just says four times two thirds is the same as two thirds times four. So yeah, that would be the same when we do that because of the commutative property. All right, let's find the product and write the product in simplest form. Okay, so here we have four times seven eighths. Here we have five ninths times four. This one I'm going to use a model. This one we won't. Okay, so here's um, uh, four times seven eighths. Here's seven eighths. Here's seven eighths. Seven eighths and seven eighths. So there is seven uh, plus seven is fourteen plus. 7 is uh, 21 plus 7 is um, 28. So that's the same as 4 times 7. And don't forget they're in terms of 8. So 4 times 7 eighths is 28 eighths. 28 eighths is 8 eighths plus 8 eighths plus 8 eighths plus 4 eighths. And this 4 eighths is 1 half right here. So 1, 2, 3. So this is 3 and a half right here. Okay. 8 goes into 28 three times with 4 left over. So 4 eighths would give us 3 and a half. Okay. Let's do it with this method. Multiply 5 times uh, 12. 5 times 12 over 9. 5 times 12 ninths is 60 ninths. And 9 goes into 66 times, with, um, uh, which is 54, gives us 6 left over, so 6 ninths. So here's our 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6 and 6 ninths, or 6 and 2 thirds, because we can divide that down by 3 right there. All right, you guys? Okay, you guys, take care.